welcome to this demo of installing Casting K10 by Veeam from the Sousa Rancher Marketplace. And welcome to the Sousa Rancher UI. We'll log in and we'll select a Kubernetes cluster that we want to install Casting K10 by Veeam into. The first thing that we'll do is create a new namespace from Cluster, Projects, and Namespaces. Click Create Namespace and create a new namespace called Kasten-IO and click Create. Let's go to Apps and Marketplace and click Charts. Search for Kasten. Click the Kasten K10 logo and click Install. Select the namespace that we created called Kasten-IO and click Customize Helm Options before install. Click Next and review the available Helm Options for Kasten K10. To find out more about the Helm Options, visit docs.kasten.io. Click Install and in just a few minutes, Kasten K10 by Veeam will be deployed into your Kubernetes cluster. Once the installation is complete, we're now ready to open up the Casting by Veeam user interface. Welcome to Casting K10. We'll first have to enter our email and company name to accept the end user license agreement. Here we are in the Casting K10 by Veeam user interface. We automatically discover all installed applications within the Kubernetes cluster. The first thing that we'll do is click settings and set up a location profile. Location profiles are used as the target for our, our retention for our backup. In this demo, we use an S3 compatible storage location. Simply entering an S3 access key, an S3 secret, an endpoint, and a bucket name. In this demo, we'll install a simple application that we can use for backup and recovery. We use a Helm chart to install a WordPress application. Once our WordPress application is installed and complete, you'll see that Casting K10 automatically discovers the newly installed application. Clicking on Details on the newly installed application will show all the discovered components of that application, including persistent volume claims, networking configuration, and all metadata. Here we can see that our WordPress application is running. Let's create some data inside our application. Let's create our first post within our WordPress application so that we can create some unique data. Now that we have a post created in WordPress, let's go back to casting K10 by Veeam. Click Create Policy and follow the simple UI here to create our backup frequency and our export frequency. Create policy. We now have a policy created to protect WordPress. Let's click Run Once to start this policy now. We can visit the Casting K10 dashboard to view the progress of our backup. Casting first snapshots the application and then exports the backup to our S3 target location. As you can see, our application is now compliant with our backup policy. To test recovery, we'll go back into the Rancher UI and we'll delete our WordPress application. As you can see, under Installed Apps, we are able to delete the application right from the SUSE Rancher user interface. And then we can actually completely delete the namespace as well. Go to Cluster, Projects and Namespaces, select the WordPress name, namespace, and click Delete. We've now uninstalled WordPress and completely deleted the namespace. Let's 
go back to CAST and K10 to recover the application. Back in the CAST and K10 UI, you'll now notice that the WordPress application is no longer visible. To recover the application, we need to filter by status and choose Removed. From the Removed Applications list, we can now see the recovery points for WordPress. Choose a recovery point Recreate the namespace. Select your options for recovery. And click restore. You can watch the status of the restore from the Casting K10 dashboard. just a few minutes, our application will be recovered. As you can see, Cast and K10 now sees WordPress restored and is now compliant with our policies. Let's jump back over to our WordPress application and validate that our application is recovered, it's online, and our post is also recovered. That's our demo for installing Cast and K10 by Veeam from the Sousa Rancher Marketplace.